ad currents we have to define ad currents ad currents also called as also called as focal's current also called as focal's currents are the loops of are the loops of electrical current are the loops of electrical current induced within induced within a conductor by changing magnetic field by changing magnetic field in the conductor ad currents are the loops of electrical current induced within a conductor by changing magnetic field in the conductor they can be induced within a stationary conductor they can be induced within a stationary conductor by by a time varying magnetic field by a time varying magnetic field created time varying magnetic field created by an ac electromagnetic ac electromagnet or by the relative motion or by the relative motion between a magnet between a magnet and a nearly conductor and a nearly conductor they can be induced within a stationary conductor by time varying magnetic field created by an ac electromagnet or by the relative motion between a magnet or a nearly conductor in a diagram we have a metal plate and this is an ac source to this ac source a coil is connected uh, which is placed above the metal plate this is a coil which is connected to ac source and this coil is placed above a metal plate above a metal plate and in this case if alternating current flows through this coil uh this type of circular magnetic field will be obtained this type of circular magnetic field will be obtained these are the magnetic field lines and which will have the direction as shown in the figure a number of magnetic field lines are shown in the figure which is created due to alternating current flowing through the coil these are magnetic field lines these are magnetic field lines and which will have the direction as shown in the figure similarly we can denote magnetic field lines on the left hand side of the coil so this is magnetic field line which is directed in vertically upward direction and this is another magnetic field line a circular magnetic field line produced due to alternating current flowing through this coil these are the magnetic field lines these are the magnetic field lines produced due to uh, alternating current flowing through the coil flowing through the coil again we can write this is magnetic field lines these are also magnetic field lines we can denote the direction of magnetic field induction this is the direction along which magnetic field induction b will act and this magnetic field induction that means vector b is produced due to the alternating current flowing through the coil and coming from the ac source and this is uh, what the direction along which ad current ad currents flow in the metal plate which is placed below the coil which is placed below the coil so here this are ad currents this are ad currents which flows clockwise in the horizontal metal plate this are the ad currents which flows which flow uh, clockwise in the metal plate and we can denote uh, uh, the magnetic field induction produced due to flow of ad currents in clockwise direction according to right hand palm rule or maxwell cox screw rule as ad currents flow clockwise uh, so magnetic field induction due to this ad currents will be acting vertically downwards so vector b prime is the magnetic field, uh, field induction which is produced due to ad currents 
due to the currents flowing clockwise in the horizontal metal plate in metal plate and vector b is the magnetic field induction produced due to alternating current flowing through the coil and this magnetic field induction vector b is opposed by the magnetic field induction vector b prime according to lenz's law according to lenz's law vector b is opposed vector b is opposed by vector b prime that means vector b is the magnetic field induction due to flow of alternating current through the coil and vector b prime is the magnetic field induction which is produced due to flow of eddy currents in clockwise direction through uh, in the metal plate so uh, this are circular um, these are the loops of electric currents that uh, which is also known as eddy currents eddy currents uh, circulate in the metal plate or in the conductor like swirling like swirling eddies eddy currents circulate in a conductor like swirling eddies in a stream eddy currents uh, circulate in a conductor like swirling eddies in a stream now additional information uh, in connection with eddy current eddy currents eddy currents are produced eddy currents are produced in any metallic conductor in any metallic conductor when eddy currents are produced in any metallic conductor when magnetic flux is changed around it eddy currents are produced in any metallic conductor when magnetic flux is changed around it so here this metallic conductor means uh, example of metallic conductor is aluminum which is paramagnetic substance and also another example of eddy current uh, another example of metallic conductor through which eddy currents flow is soft iron which is ferromagnetic substance eddy currents eddy currents are always are always circular in shape or nature eddy currents are always circular in nature because of the reason because of the reason that because of the reason that current always prefers current always prefers to take least resistive power always prefers to take least resistive path as it is known that for same area as it is known that for the same area of circle and any other finite sided polygon circle has the least perimeter circle has the least perimeter according to lenz's law according to lenz's law an eddy current produces an eddy current produces a magnetic field an eddy current produces a magnetic field that is in opposition that is in opposition to the magnetic field that produced that produced the eddy current that produced the eddy current according to lenz's law an eddy current produces a magnetic field that is in opposition to the magnetic field that produces the eddy current and it resist and it resist the movement of it resist the movement of the magnet through the it resist the movement of the magnet through the conductor or other movement or other movement of the conductor or coil in the magnetic field in the diagram we have a copper coil which is wound on a cylinder this is a copper well and we and this is a cylinder on which a copper coil is wound in the shape of cylinder this is a cylinder through which a magnet will be dropped this is a cylinder through which a magnet will be dropped and on this cylinder uh, a copper coil is wound and this is the copper coil this is the copper coil which is wound 
which is owned on the cylinder which is owned on the cylinder the two ends of this copper coil are kept open now a ma magnet now a magnet is dropped through the cylinder the magnet uh, a magnet will be dropped through the cylinder this is a magnet which will be dropped through the cylinder which will be dropped through the cylinder a magnet which is dropped through the cylinder and the magnet falls freely without any the magnet falls freely without any opposing force and the magnet will pass through the cylinder and also pass through the copper coil freely and there will be no opposing force or resistive force against the downward motion of the magnet through the cylinder when when a magnet when a magnet is dropped when a magnet is dropped through a cylinder on which a copper coil is owned on which on which a copper coil is owned on which a copper coil is owned on which a copper coil is owned with its two ends open that is not connect with each other with each other comma there is no resistive force there is no resistive force against there is no resistance against the downward motion of the magnet and there will be no slowing down there will be no slowing down of the downward motion of the magnet now the two ends of the copper coil are connected to each other two ends these two ends are connected to each other two ends of the copper coil are connected two ends of the copper coil are connected with each other a closed circuit is made this is the cylinder through which a magnet is to be dropped freely this is a cylinder and a copper coil which is owned on this cylinder and the, its two ends are connected to each other copper coil with its two ends connected to each other connected to each other and uh, this magnet is to be dropped freely through the cylinder and also through the copper coil this is the magnet which is dropped which is dropped through the cylinder on which through the cylinder on which a copper coil is owned the copper coil is owned in this case the magnet will flee uh, will fall freely and when this magnet pass through the copper coil pass through the copper coil in the in that case it will be slowed down when the two ends when the two ends of the copper coil when the two ends of the copper coil are connected and the magnet is dropped freely and magnet is dropped through the cylinder it slow it slows down it slows down and takes a moment takes a moment or takes a comparatively long moment takes a comparatively long moment to pass through the coil to pass through the coil when its two ends are connected to each other this is the cylinder on which copper coil is owned a copper coil is owned and a magnet this is the magnet and this magnet will be dropped through the cylinder on which copper coil is owned and the magnet falls freely through the cylinder or through the copper coil provided two ends are disconnected or two ends are kept open uh, the magnet falls freely 
and the, there will be no resistive power the magnet falls freely now the two ends of the copper coil are connected to each other connected to each other two ends of the copper coil are connected to each other and the magnet is dropped through the cylinder and also through uh, the copper coil in that case uh, the magnet slows down and its momentum is converted into electric current uh, when the two ends of the copper coil are connected to each other and the magnet is dropped in and you are observing that the uh, retardation of the magnet occurs in this case the magnet is decelerated when it pass through the copper coil when it pass through the copper coil due to uh, generation of eddy current through the copper coil and its momentum is converted into electric current that means eddy current and here the magnet is uh, opposed and uh, magnet is opposed and it is uh, decelerated retardation occurs when the magnet pass through the coil here the magnet is passing through the coil and it, and it does not fall freely it uh, it experiences opposing force when it pass through the copper coil provided the two ends of the copper coil are connected in this case ad current is generated and that will flow in a circular loop through the copper coil and this ad current will uh, generate a resistive force against the downward motion of the magnet downward motion of the magnet now the two ends of the copper coil are disconnected and an led bulb is connected to the two ends of the copper coil this is the led bulb which is connected to the two ends of the copper coil and the magnet is dropped now the magnet is dropped through the copper coil and led bulb glows the magnet is dropped the magnet is dropped and led bulb glows due to generation of ad current through the copper coil magnet is dropped and led bulb glows here magnet is dropped and led bulb glows due to generation of ad current through the copper coil and additional information is that application application what will be the application of ad currents application of ad currents number one induction stove or induction oven induction induction stove or induction oven which is based on its working is based on the generation of ad current and number two is ad current brake which is used in electric train ad current brake which is used in electric train to stop it number three ad current testing ad current testing and number four is ad current separation ad current separation